See, you just There's... admitted it. Drag queens grew minors. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh no okay then let's go off the statistics you are at a 241 to 12 ratio of getting You've lost them. the, the number is too big <laughs> now, honestly that's what it feels like most of the time jiggle 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 hello hello i have to pause Be quiet <laughs> There, I turned you up now. Oh, it was my gain. There we go. Hello, everyone. Hello. That is a lot better. How are you doing? I am doing fantastic. I appreciate you having me on. I appreciate you joining us. Absolutely. You know, I always, I always try my best to support the LGBT as a member myself. And my fiancé uh, also is trans. So, you know, I happen to dabble a few bit into the trans right activity activism so yeah and you know catch me supporting the lg a, you got a bit of a shoe in the race oh absolutely you know um back whenever i originally went to college my my degree was originally going to be in political advocacy so you know i was <laughs> i had the idea like you know what I want to go to school for that. And then all of a sudden I was like, you know what? Fuck nah. <laughs> Fuck that. I, I don't want to deal with it that much. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big mood. Before we get too far into it, would you mind introducing yourself to chat? Name, pronouns, that kind of thing? Hello, everybody in chat. My name is Oliver Wren. I go by he, they, them, whatever the fuck you want to feel like calling me. I don't really care. So, yeah, you know. Um, I am the um, host of a couple of different podcasts. I have the Vision Project as well as Hellcast. Um, Hellcast has been disbanded, but you know I still hunt. That, yeah, you definitely do. You keep busy, that's for sure. Oh, always. You know, one one thing that I notice a lot about the VTuber community is like that that sense of of like anima anonymity whenever it comes with being able to display yourself as a cartoon character so it sort of gives people that that um level of dissidence and that level of um disassociation from their characters and stuff like that so i i mean it's a great way it's a, it's fun for me to sit there and call out people who do horrendous shit while maintaining a animosity uh, not animosity. Anonymity. Anonymity. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I'm one of the biggest stoner uh, investigative journalists that you'll find around. <laughs> hey, a... 420 blaze oh, yeah. it. Always, always 420 blaze it. Um, most of the time, you'll whenever you catch me doing my, my deep dives into people's lives and stuff like that, you'll catch me on Twitch or on here on YouTube sometimes. Uh, I... I to go into more detail about what I do. I expose online predators who have the idea that it is perfectly acceptable to go after minors, even though that they have this power dynamic with minors. So, like, it's Neo, Draco Chaos, uh, Succulicious, Angel Girl ASMR. Um, there's a, there's a couple of them. There's I believe there's Frost VT that I went after. Um, it's still crash, you know. Fucking it's Neo is still yeah. going around on Discord as it's Neo, and I'm just like Neo, you're a fucking idiot. You're still going by the same name, and you think nobody's gonna notice my Who's almost one hundred sixty thousand view tweet exposing How are they you. Gonna know? But yeah, no, I I, <laughs> I get a lot of my inspiration from the likes of Chris Hansen, Skeeter Jean, um, Protect the Innocent. Like, th those are the people that I watch on the daily. And I'm just like, hell yeah. I don't watch Chris Hansen anymore because fuck Chris Hansen. But, you know. What's a beef with Chris Hansen? Um, other than his scamming, um, lying, and using a people for an Onision document that never went anywhere. Yes. Um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, I honestly didn't know that stuff about him. I just knew about to catch a predator, and that was literally it. Oh yeah, no, he's he's a big controversial uh, journalist now because of the fact he likes to use 
what fame he did have in order to scam people. And he, um, one of my old friends, his name is um, it's a Slug, worked with Chris Hansen for a little while, and <laughs> the Chris, um, the Onision uh, d- um, documentary that Chris Hansen was doing, and the investigations into it and all that fun stuff, um, got nothing done. Surprise, surprise. No way. You mean to tell me that the guy who is known for scamming and literally got arrested for, you know, fraud is being fraudulent? Huh. huh. Weird. Who <laughs> but yeah, no, he's not a good person. <laughs> he's not a good person. But he's an icon. He's iconic in the uh, predator hunting game. Do you happen to have like a catchphrase or something you say on stream frequently? Get fucked, pedo cunt. Yeah, I think I've seen that one a few times on Twitter. Yeah. G um <laughs> GFPC, yeah, GFC PC. Get fucked, pedo cunt. It's to the point. Yeah, giddy. Yeah, <laughs> giddy. Go ahead. Uh, let's see, let's see. Like some of this stuff doesn't really apply to you, like aesthetic and lore. Yeah, I was <laughs> reading. I was that. like, I'm not a, I'm not really a VTuber. Um, yeah, you I'm just kind of have just... you. You're kind of like on the outskirts of the VTuber community because you. Yeah, I I help maintain that. Hey, the bad people doing bad things, get them. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much it. Um, uh, go yeah. ahead. <laughs> oh, no, you go ahead. I was just going to say that I have a lot of ties in the VTuber community, such as Celeste, um, Shala, you. I have quite a few different contacts into the VTuber community. I may not be a part of it. However, I do care about its health. And one thing I will say is if the VTuber community doesn't start rooting out and start putting on blast wrongdoers in its community um it's going to turn into what the minecraft of like 2016 it's going to turn into the roblox scene it's going to turn into all those niches where it's just rampant with people who use it use use their power basically for evil you have to make a, a loud studious consistent um outing of these people you need to make it clear that if you're going to do this in our community it's not going to be acceptable. It's going to get out. Everyone's going to tell on you. You're not safe. Nobody you talk to is going to going to trust you. Everyone you talk to is going to tell somebody else. Who's going to tell someone else? Who's going to tell someone else? Like, it has to be consistent, and that's something I do not see a lot of people doing. Yeah, with, like in, in a the lot of community. the different communities. Yeah, not and, just and, VTubers. Oh, absolutely. It, it's a thing that all communities need to do is need that consistent, loud, booming voice of unity when they say, I don't want to fucking deal with this. Get the fuck out of my community. We don't want you here. You know? We, and I know that somebody's going to take that out of context. A specific uh, dragon is going to take it out of context and make it painted as if I'm talking about the LGBT. Let me be specific, Draco. I'm talking about your kind. Because I know you like to twist my words out of co- out of context and make up bullshit that oh I'm anti LGBT. Yeah, I mean oh, it's it's said about both you. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, I <laughs> I don't get how someone could look at me and say he's anti LGBT. Goes on my Twitter, there are literal threads of me talking about the statistics and talking about how trans people are people, how they deserve the right how they deserve equal rights i got into fights with major commentary people such as jessica pizzle over over trans rights and i was and i just blew up at her and i'm just like you know you can call me transphobic you can call me all all these like isms but that doesn't change the fact that none of the isms are true about me (laughs) i am extremely left-winging i'm extremely left-wing at the end of the day i believe that everyone has the right to exist the way that they feel like existing it's not anyone else's place to express that for for them to judge and make legislation on how somebody else expresses and lives their life 
It's no one else's fucking place. Exactly. Unless they're harming somebody. Two minutes of research, yeah. <laughs> exactly. It doesn't honestly take that much time to look into it and see what, you know, the major medical associations in the world say. Like, all of them. You know, I, I love the fact that people, like, spread conspiracy theorists. And it's just like, how come the people that you trusted years ago that were like, oh, well, they wouldn't lie. They're medical doctors. They're, per they're biologists. They're specialists in their field. How come it's the moment? It's the moment that they sit there and their views don't align with what the scientists and the doctors and the psychologists and the researchers, whenever their views don't align, all of a sudden, oh no, oh no, they're, they're lying. They're, they're trying to groom our kids. And I'm just like, you still go to the Catholic Church. I don't know what you're trying to fucking say over here. Yeah. It's like, they're trying to make the uh, hashtag leave the kids alone about drag queens, but the most they most of the CSA happens in the church. Exactly. Not home. So I want I want to bring up this statistic that I found recently. Um, it was in Illinois alone there was two thousand two hundred um cases between the between the year of 1950 and 2012 of sexually of priests doing CSA towards towards minors in the United States alone entirely there was 11,000 cases between 1950 and 2012 in France there was 202,000 cases of the catholic what? church committing sexual abuse towards minors so if we want to really go off of the statistics of who's committing more, uh, more like grooming and sexually abuse towards minors and indoctrinating and grooming. It would be the Catholic Church, considering the fact the Catholic Church has been an instilled religious figure since I don't know, fucking twelve BC. Yeah, since like ever. France, you all right over there? <laughs> <laughs> France, are you good, bro? Germany has the least, which is 313, which is absolutely insane. But the fact it's happened 313 times should be alarming. It is still alarming to those of us with our heads on right. And I'm just like, it, it, I always get into these arguments with people, and I'm always arguing like, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, don't fucking talk. And they're just like, oh, I know what I'm talking about. Okay, then why are you calling drag queens groomers whenever there's a more cases of priests grooming minors than there is drag queens grooming minors? Yes, there are drag queens that groom minors. There are people in every group that groom minors. What a fucking shocker. See, you just there's admitted it. Drag queens groom minors. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Okay, then let's go off the statistics. You are at a 241 to 12 ratio of getting You've groomed lost by him. the, the numbers church. too big. <laughs> <laughs> now, honestly, that's what it feels like most of the time. Uh, the higher hierarchical structure of the Catholic Church is rife with abuse, and the problem and the power is the problem. Exactly, 100%. which is why you see Gen Z running the fuck away from Christianity. That's why you see it because yeah, they're think, noticing isn't the Gen power. Z like a higher atheist rate. Uh, um, they're more likely to be um, agnostic, atheist, pagan, some form of that, more than they okay. are to be Catholic or Christian. Um, and I find that to be absolutely hilarious because the Catholic Church and like Christianity as a whole, the um, all of the umbrellas of Christianity are looking at at the numbers and looking at the drastic rate in which that people are dropping the church and they're panicking. And that's why you see such hard pushers like those evangelical Christians on TV pushing for stuff like, oh, we need to ban critical race theory. We need to ban, um, we need to ban, you know, gender expression and, and discussions of our actual history in schools. They want the good teachers in schools to get out because then they can control the students. No, they don't want teachers in schools. They want kids they want schooled priests in, in home. Schools. Because it's either priests in schools or the kids schooled at home. Because, you know, that's how, where they're most vulnerable. Um, in a society with freedom of religion, sacralis <laughs> uh, secularism increases. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. 
my main Mark. problem is is that these people sit here and call America a Christian nation. Show me in the <sighs> where in the Bible at all, not in the Bible, in the in the United States Constitution where it specifically states that the na that the nation is Christian. Because from what my understanding is, there's a reason why they ran the fuck away from Britain. And it was the freedom of religion. It was because people were getting prosecuted if they weren't Protestant enough, or if they weren't Catholic enough, or if they weren't Christian enough. They got away from that. Why would they go from a highly religious institution that prosecuted people to going back and reverting after fighting and literally having thousands of deaths? Why would they want to immediately turn around and be like, you know what? Let's re let's re let's reinstall the institutional powers that 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 made it so that we wanted to fight to begin with. Yeah, like didn't they write the what was it separation of church and state into the Constitution or the Declaration yes, of Independence or something? The, and it's now written into both. It's in the first. It's the first amendment. Both? Freedom of freedom of right. Uh, freedom of speech. Freedom of expression. Freedom of freedom of religion. Freedom of the press. That's all oh. in the First Amendment. Oh, that's all the First. The First okay. Amendment is a fucking immaculate piece of literature. Whenever you actually study the First Amendment and you actually know what applies and what doesn't apply, and you, you sit there and you listen to people make this the the argument the the first the free speech uh, fighters who want to sit there and cry like a bitch whenever they get called out for their actual acts of censorship you notice that these people don't know what the fuck they're talking about. And oh, you notice absolutely. a lot of the time they use outrage to farm views. Um, and on Twitter right now, you will, you will see a, a, a drastic increase in which that blue check mark, people with blue check marks will use rage farming in order to get, garner views. The reason why that is, is because Twitch is now paying people who have blue check marks to get views, to get clicks, to get likes, and to share. They get ad revenue from it, which is insane. So what you'll see is a bunch of people make the stupidest comments ever, and then when people correct them, you're not free speech. Free speech goes both ways. I can, You can say whatever you want to say. I don't care. But don't sit here and get mad at me because I find what you say to be absolutely fucking brain dead. Yeah, I'm not sorry that you spoke your opinion. I'm sorry you got the dog shit opinion. <laughs> I'm not sorry you spoke your opinion. I'm sorry you're so brain dead that that's your actual opinion. <laughs> I'm sorry that your opinion bases itself on nothing. I'm sorry that your opinion has less character than a literal pile of dog shit. Christian domin uh, dominionists will advocate against church and state that also say the United States is a Christian nation. I suppose they can't comprehend deism. Also, they they are also ignoring their own fucking Bible. Yeah. Let me make let me let me explain something. The whenever they talk about how oh the gays are um the gays can't be Christian, that was in Leviticus. That's Old Testament. So what happened to the old laws? Not, not the Old just Testament, that getting outlawed because of Christ's death and therefore the forgiving of sin. Therefore, how can they use something from the Old Testament, which is old law, whenever the old law has been out banned, has been out has been banned. It's been overthrown. It no longer applies. So their thoughts about Leviticus don't apply to Christianity anymore because they should be following the New Testament, which yeah, the New Testament says nothing about gays. Exactly. Weird and not how that only is. that, but the goddamn Leviticus section was written specifically about the Leviticans. Nobody else. It was specifically about how to how they should behave themselves if they want to be approved by God in the Old Testament. I think yeah. it's been forever. It's it's something like that. Um, and there's a lot of misinformation going around saying, "Oh, well, it 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 was mistranslated from man to child." It was not. It, it, that is an absolute lie. <laughs> that is gibberish. It, well, it was I not mean, mistranslated. It was absolutely correctly translated. It's it was just deliberately that, mistranslated. No, it was not. Um, I, the I words are the words are wrong. 
um, the word for child is completely different than the word of man. Um, in Old Hebrew. Uh, yeah, Jesus was supposed to come and fix all the weird Old Testament stuff, right? So why are they listening to the old one if you're a Christian? Exactly. Like, you're ignoring Very your picky. own... You're ignoring your own leader of your religion by going back and using the Old Testament stuff. You know who uses Old Testament? You know who that was supposed to be for? Jewish. That, that The Old Testament is where the Jewish... Um, the Jewish book takes place. Yeah, that's the old. That's the like Jewish shellfish text. being an abomination in the pass. Like two passages right before the uh, gay sex one. Mm -hmm. Side note: and What if, what if, man shall not lie with another man as is an abomination? Was like literally about lying, like telling the truth with your bros. Maybe, maybe, you know, I mean, so, it's up um, to interpretation. So here, here's a funny fact. Um, the reason why they actually had this, it was, it wasn't really necessarily against homo homosexuality. It was more so because of the fact at the time, there's a lot of disease going around. So in order to stay healthy, man should not lay with man because a lot of the time there was parasites, there was bugs, there was, you know, a whole bunch of shit. And they didn't remember, know exactly what it was at the time. They assumed possession. Exactly. So they were just like, hey, don't do that. I want to get you killed I'll... by the devil. And the devil was <laughs> exactly. like, what the hell? God has killed more people than me. Um, if you really want to be specific, all deaths that are, that are accounted to Satan should be counted to God. If you want to be technical, because of the fact... That the devil wouldn't have committed those acts if God never created the devil. So, God is the uh, root of all good and all evil at the same point. That does kind of erase free will, doesn't it, though? Well, of course. <laughs> That's the whole point. There is no real free will. Because even, it, even with free will... At least in the eyes of Christianity, free will is something that is subjective and it's more of a kajigger to a plot device, sort of, to excuse like, oh, well, the reason why they, they Adam and Eve ate the apple and the reason why they were punished is because they didn't listen to God and they had free will. Well, wasn't the apple of knowledge supposed to grant them free will? In a sense, they, it granted them the ability to see and distinguish evil. Yeah, actually, yeah, that get, it gave them free will essentially. So the original the original plan for God was for you to not have free will. Yeah, like a good you little were puppet. Pun yeah, we were pun it. Uh, if we follow the Bible's theory, um, the Bible's um, train of thought, if I shall shall put it that way. Um, we were not hypothesis. meant. Yes, the, the Bible's <laughs> hypothesis. God created humanity to be more of like chess pieces, I guess. But they had no intention of giving us free will. In fact, even tried to suggest us not get free will. Huh? Doesn't that not, sound not like something more like a deceiver it, would but, say? Um, forbade it, actually. Yeah, he forbade it. So here's my that's, problem with the Christian God. Yay. The Christian God is supposed to be all knowing, all seeing, all, all, all hearing. So how did this Christian God not already know that they were going to make the decision to choose free will over God? Therefore, why not actually prevent that choice from ever being made by removing the tree of knowledge all to begin with? And Instead, if he knew he that choice was there. going to be made already, that means that the action was already predetermined and it wasn't actually free will. But that's that, the that's problem with interesting... Christianity. I know, right? That's... It's all contradictions. Exactly. That's the problem Eden with most religion. Good... Let, me, let me be more specific. It's a problem with most religion. Whenever you mm -hmm. actually look deeper into it and actually put critical thought into religion... It falls apart immediately, which is why they don't want critical thought being taught. 
And that's why they want you to believe stuff despite there being no evidence. Exactly. And Aiden exactly. brings up a good point, um, or at least an interesting thought experiment. Maybe the fruit wasn't magic, did nothing. It was just a test of free will or something. That's actually a perspective I hadn't heard about when discussing this topic before, because, you know, I usually discuss it with Christians and they get all pissy defensive. Yeah, I mean, I could, I would believe that. Um, if for not one reason, um, the fact that the book, speci the Bible specifically calls it the apple of knowledge. And when, by, well, when mean, Adam and God Eve bit the apple, the apple of knowledge. they suddenly realized, hey, we're naked. Yeah. So it, it's kind of hard to sit there and say it's poetic. It was a test. Because if it was a test, they would have already had been failed it because they would have noticed that they were naked. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. So, to, so it would have had to been been magic. Because they didn't realize they were naked until after they took a bite of the apple. Therefore, allowing humans to understand and perceive the ideas of um, what's right and wrong. Basically. So yeah, you know. <sighs> oh yeah. Jeez, it's been a while since I talked religion. Oh, absolutely. You know, I, I enjoy talking religion because I enjoy making people really mad whenever I know more about Christianity than they do. <laughs> oh, so like anytime you're talking to a Christian? Pretty much. I'm just like, my dude, I grew up Catholic. I know the Bible. I actually fucking read the shit. Oh my, my god, dude, I grew up Protestant. We can take down their entire religion between the two of us. Honestly. Like, my dude, I, I know their religion. I know what you believe because I believed those things. I was taught those things. I read those things. But I was smart enough to leave it. I was smart enough to use <laughs> critical thought and be like, hey, wait a minute. None of this shit actually makes any sense. For me, I was actually pretty dumb with how I left it. Like, I read the entire Bible and I was like, you know what? This God's a dick. Not worth worshiping. And I left the religion. And then my girlfriend was like, why do you believe that shit without evidence? And I was like, shit, why did I? Uh, and that's so Aiden, to find my atheism. Understandable. Um, Aiden says, I'm kind of a Christian. I'm going to out myself. I kind of think the Bible is a combination of people trying to understand God and not really doing a good job. I'm going to agree to disagree with that point, and I'm going to critique it slightly to quote Carlin, uh, George Carlin, and say that the Bible and anything like the Bible, those are those books and stuff like that. Th those books are early attempts of people of humanity trying to understand the world and how it works around them. So, for example, whenever you have, whenever you have no explanation or no way of of like explaining anything. It's easy to label it as a god. To quote Carlin, if a, if you're sit, standing there walking along and a rock gets thrown at you and it hits you in the back of the head and you look around and no one's around, whenever you're, uh, early humanity would have thought rock god. Yeah. Why is the god. sun? Why is the sun setting and the and the moon uh, and the night comes the day? Sun god, night god, day god, and a moon god. It's her early attempts of humans trying to understand the world around them with the very little amount of scientific um, prowessness that we have today. Yeah, and modern day, the majority of religion is just used for controlling the masses and keeping them, you know, docile, I guess. Pretty much. Uh, I'd agree with that. Like, there is nothing you can get from religion that you can't get from secular means. Oh, absolutely. Um, there's a lot of shit you can get from a lot of... Like, a lot of people seem to have this idea that morality is based in religion. No. Morality is kind of that thing that, you're, that you think about and you're just like, you know what? That doesn't sound like that'd be a good thing to do. That's your morality. It's your consciousness. 
the God and Job stories was was really going off for no reason. Social technology has been approved upon. Exactly. And I think that eventually we're going to get to a point wherever people are just going to look at like like these people, like Ron DeSantis, um, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Lauren Boebert, people like that. <laughs> and they're going to be like, wow, the people who fucking voted these people in are fucking idiots. How did we allow this to happen? Because right? I, I don't understand how we let the most brain deaded people possible and a literal child uh, a literal child tra sex trafficker, Matt Gates, to be continuing to do his job. I don't know how that happens. You know, <laughs> imagine getting outed as like a, a child trafficker, right? Like a sex trafficker, and being able to wake up the next morning and go to work as a U.S. senator, actually controlling people's lives. Like it's like so my fucked dude. There. Aiden, I just try to be, be nice, nice and helpful. And be... Those are core moral things, I guess. So if anything in Christianity has that, I agree with it. I guess I put the morality over religion. I don't know. That is totally That's reasonable, honestly. That's completely like, reasonable. Like I, I... I don't have the biggest opinion of spiritual religious thinking in general, but I'm not exactly like an anti-theist. Sure, I'll share my opinion, but I'm not going to try and rip Christianity from somebody's hands if they that's how they live their life. With the world, yeah, exactly. I don't I I do not agree with somebody going out of their way to tell Christians that, hey, your God's fake. That's not gonna do shit. That isn't gonna solve anything. That isn't go that is not how you have a progressive and actually like useful conversation with someone. That's not how you get somewhere with people. You sit down, you have an actual conversation and get to the root of why they believe what they believe. And then you, from there, tear back little by little, you try and convince them that those, those morals, those ideas that they have are not helpful for them. That's yeah, how you And unfortunately that. you can't really reason a person out of religious thinking. It's a, uh... A lot of the time you got to use irrational thinking to get them to actually realize maybe there's a problem with it. But hey, it's not something that, again, we can force people on. My opinion on whether or not you want to live in your life as a religious person, do whatever the fuck you want to do as long as it doesn't hurt anybody else. Yeah, exactly. My, my thought process is the moment that you sit there and you try to push your religion onto others you you are pushing a president's you are putting a president down that states that it is okay to push religion onto other people right so it would be completely wrong of a satanist to tell a christian or to convince a christian to join satanism that would be wrong because satanists are pushing their religion inside of your face it's also wrong when a Christian sits there and throws fucking verses at me when I don't believe their fucking book about how I'm going to hell. I don't care what your book says. That's your book, not mine. Yeah, my book says there's no more ice giants. Their book says there's no more wicked people. I don't see no mine, ice giants. But I, I still do know, see wicked people running around, though. And I also know that my God has a hammer. Their God... Well, we know the story with their god. Your god had a boat. <laughs> Nailed to a tree. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm getting well, a little I, edgy there. I, I can't, I, also, I, I'm going to make this joke, and this is going to offend a lot of people, and I'm perfectly okay with that. You know how I be. I know but, how you be. You know, it's kind of interesting to me, for me to hear Christians say that, it, that abortion is wrong whenever their god aborted his only son. <laughs> True. I love that. Yeah, everyone should be able to do whatever they want to do without harming anyone and getting the getting in the way of anyone else's doing whatever they want to do. Exactly. Absolutely. I like to say I am a libertarian socialist, right? Yeah. I am all for the individual, but I am also for community. <laughs> so it, it's kind of crazy to me that people are just like, oh, 
libertarianism is wrong. It, it's not. It's not wrong. It's, it's perfectly okay to believe that the individual has the right to do whatever the fuck they want to do. In fact, most conservatives believe that individuals have the right to do whatever they want to do as long as it fits within their fucking parameters. That's the difference between a conservative and a fucking libertarian. Libertarians don't give a shit what you do. Conservatives do. And in fact, I think, yeah. a lot, I think a lot of people can actually get along better if they actually stopped fucking inserting themselves into other people's business. Because then <laughs> everyone's happier. Everyone's happier. Because I'm not dealing with motherfuckers who are dumb as rocks trying to tell me how to live my life whenever I'm more intelligent than them. Like, motherfucker, I don't want to hear what a dumbass has to say. All right? You can be dumb as rocks. And if you're sitting there telling me how to live my life, oh, hell no. I'm going to make you feel stupid as shit because that's exactly what you are. Oh, yeah, exactly. You're like... going to hell. Then why do you wear mixed fabrics? You're going to hell, too. Bitch. See you there. I'll save you a seat. <laughs> See you there. I'll I'll make sure the devil keeps one nice and warm for you. I can't wait to party with my father. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> it is a Man. matter of recognizing diffuse long term benefits. Uh, Max Turner made Matt a point Turner. Um, egotist individual still benefits most from it, building a caring society. It's a matter of diffuse and long term benefits. Yeah. Exactly. There's, there's actually exactly. a selfish argument for making the world as good a place as possible. Because it makes your life as easy as possible. You have to actually do less kind of work. You have to sell your labor less. That kind of thing. But no, people but don't want to actually is, admit to the that. The problem, the problem is with that is that people think in their tiny little pea brains, well, if there's less labor, I get paid less. If there's no labor to be paid for, then the idea of currency is fucking pointless. Well, first currency. of all, that first point is dumb of theirs because the less labor there is, the more demand there is for that labor, the value of that labor goes way up. Do they not know economics? I'm a goddamn socialist. I shouldn't know more economics than them. What I mean is they're more concerned about the fact that robots are going to take our jobs. Who do you think helps maintain the robots? Dumbass. Like, Get, like robots taking over jobs is a good thing. Who wants to do those jobs? Nobody. That's why there's robots doing those jobs. Exactly. We just need Nobody to give a to base level there. of comfort for every single person. And then who gives a shit about robots taking jobs? Let them. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. If robots take our jobs, guess what? They're going to have, you're going to have to learn how to program those job, those robots. You're going to have to learn how to maintain those ro robots because nobody else is going to want to learn how to maintain those robots and nobody else is going to want to learn how to program them. So guess what? If you do the work ahead of time and learn how to program and learn how to fucking set up and maintain and do maintenance, you are going to be invaluable to the company that goes fully automated fully automated because you are going to be still a backbone but you're also going to be absolutely rich because nobody's going to want to give you up because you know what the fuck you're doing and there's like heart there's even less people that know what the fuck they're doing exactly there's less whenever robots take over the workforce there's more than likely going to be a process where less of the products that we get are going to be shit. Like the product, the the quality of products goes up as robots take over because they can do the minute little details that humans cannot, and faster on a bigger scale. Exactly, like sh like shit, man. I'm all for automation. I'm all for robots. I'm all for Detroit become human. I'm all for it. Let me get them robots. Hell yeah. Machines that, well, are given call us, that have, machines that have given us abundance have left us in want. Clearly, the system is the problem. 100%. 100%, absolutely. The system ain't working right. Oh, absolutely it's not. And that's the problem. It, whenever it don't work, everyone suffers. Except for the people at the very top. Which is why we find ourselves in the state we are now. 
I'm just saying, we only need to eat one of them. <laughs> you know, I was there was um, a Fox News host recently decided it would be a good idea to bring on, I believe it's the governor of, of California, um, Newsom, and he got absolutely fucking overblown by the by his interviewee like he was sitting there saying it well Wait, Trump, carlson Trump, or was it somebody yeah. else it no, was carlson? somebody else this was Car oh. uh carlson's fucking off fox yeah i had heard that i, I wasn't sure if it was like the inciting incident that got him off fox i don't no, actually no, no, know no, what no. happened there i did not get that eating joke wait which one you will in time But, um, yeah, um, a lot of the stuff that I mainly talk about, um, is I rarely talk about politics on my stream though, <laughs> for real. Um, you can, you'll catch fair. me joking on pedophiles though, which one that we all love to roast, um, and meme on is a low cow of mine, uh, Gage Burrow. We love roasting on him because he's an absolute fucking low cow. He's like, oh. Uh, I love. <laughs> At least I haven't thing. heard out of him for a few days now. Uh, I'm glad to. I'm glad that he's gone. Personally, we don't know um, how long because he's not around right now. Fuck that guy! Like the motherfucker um, decided it would be a good idea to DM one of my closest mods and try to convert them onto his side. Big brain. I'm just like my dude. I, I'm. It was uh, Celeste. Celeste VT. Um, he went to Celeste and was like, "Ollie's gonna use you. Ollie used you. Ollie never called you cops on, on uh, Neo." And it's literally, it was Celeste posted the shit and was like, "Bruh, I was literally there when he called the cops. What do you mean?" <laughs> it, the dude is so fucking pathetic. Like it's it's actually really bad. Like it's really pathetic how how much this guy do, what this guy does. Like I feel bad for the likes of Luna, um, Celeste. I feel bad for you and Nova because like y'all y'all aren't built to handle his kind of harassment. Me, I'm a fucking troll. I can handle his harassment because I just make him because I just make fun of him and then he gets mad. And then he just screws himself over. I can handle that. But some people just aren't built for it. And it's it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, gotcha. that's why there's people like us around. Exactly. There's people like me around because the pe because people like Draco like to fuck around with people like Celeste. Pe and fucking, people like Starboy. Fucking Draco started beefing with Ujanka and I'm like, and like they start to rope me into it too, and I just post that screenshot of both of them DMing me the same fucking minute with lol Lamau even. <laughs> oh no, I know. That you shit like was that, funny. That was so that good. was so fucking that was so fucking funny. Like Drake Draco's tried to indoctrinate me too. I just block him. Damn. Yeah, he's Draco is He goes to, to like everybody. Have, to give everyone the context behind what we're talking about, Draco the Femboy, a.k.a. Uh, I have no I'd rather you that. didn't do that on my stream. It's not, it's, oh, fair enough. But um, th this guy is a confirmed pedophile who had groomed up to five minors and distributed revenge porn of a 15-year-old all over Google+. This dude is disgusting and an absolute degenerate. And as they say in Kaiser's legions, dis degenerates like you belong on a cross. I firmly believe that to be the case for Gage. Firmly. That is he not something I can or want to argue out, argue you out of. Because, like, <laughs> I've got my own issues with the dude. Oh, yeah. New Vegas moment. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I love following New Vegas. Ew, yeah. Um... So to give the age ranges, it was anywhere from 10 to 17. His defense was that he was a minor, but he was also five years older than them in every instance. 
and also there's also this little fact factoid that he refuses to mention nowadays, which is that he used to go around and say that he was forced into the relationship with a 10 and 11 year old. Yeah, he dropped that argument. Oh, that was such a big brain defense. He dropped that argument because I dismantled it in front of him. And he knows that if if he tries to bring up that argument again, I'll just fucking just I'll just be like, my dude, we already gone over this. You were 17. You could have just blocked you and nothing would have happened. Well, how he says it happened is that apparently this 11 year old girl, 11 year old individual, I'm not going to say girl or, or male because they are GNC. I'm going to respect the pronouns of of them and say them. This this GNC for this eleven year old GNC, um, ba- according to him, was basically suicide baiting him and telling him how, if he didn't get into a relationship with this individual that she that they were going to kill themselves. I don't know about you, but whenever I was eleven years old, I wasn't thinking about that kind of stuff. You know, I was worried about. The next Lego Batman release. I was worried about Pokemon. I was worried about Lego Batman, Lego Star Wars. I was worried about Harry Potter. You know, I was worried. I was hyped for the next Harry Potter movie. And then J.K. Rowling turned out to be a cunt, so I stopped watching Harry Potter. <laughs> True. Man. Well, I was never really big into Harry Potter. I had a bunch of friends into it. Bro, I, I'm a massive Harry Potter nerd. Um, I, I watch the Super Carlin Brothers, who do a lot of theories, and they do a lot of like deconstructions of Harry Potter lore and stuff like that. Um, they did an entire series dedicated to um, Dumbledore's um, Dumbledore's plan for Harry Potter. They did one where Harry Potter would have actually been a Slytherin instead of a Gryffindor. It's, it's a whole bunch of great stuff. Hundred percent recommend if you guys are into Harry Potter lore. Super Carlin Brothers. Oh, good shit. Well, if they're into it, check it out. Hell yeah. Yeah, my and money is the that there boy. isn't a collection of nefarious eleven-year-olds bringing this guy down. No. No, my money oh. is that uh, there is a collection of nefarious. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh, we we determined that that was a lie. <laughs> we Jerry Springered it. And we were just like, the lie detector test determined Ollie, that that was a Ollie, lie. Ollie, Ollie, Ollie. That, that's pretty much what the call was. <laughs> because in the confrontation of this motherfucker, this motherfucker decided it would be a gravy idea to shake a pill bottle and be like, that's it, that's it. So you get the clever line of, there he goes again. He's pulling a part two, a part two electric boogaloo. Because he's suicide baited before. I just, just can't like, see him as anything other than a bit of a drama llama. And by a bit, I mean oh, a lot. Oh, man. This guy. This motherfucker got a... I think it was like a Party City Halloween uh, fake dagger type shit and like pretended to stab himself and faked dying on camera. And then when people were just like, Draco, we see you breathing over there. He just gave up and gave up the act. Yeah, it's like it's almost like the VTuber blacklist actually does a good thing sometimes. Yeah. VTuber blacklist right. VTuber blacklist isn't a bad person. I don't or people to be specific because I know it's more than one. I've never really talked to them other than like once or twice, but I'm sure they're not terrible people. Um I know that they probably don't like me very much because of my tactics and methods. But, you know, potentially I don't know all of the people who are involved with the blacklist. I do know one of the people, like the one of the heads at least, is actually in my Discord. So they're aware of me. They've liked some tweets that I've been mentioned in regarding Draco. Yeah, they're they're pretty cool people. I, I'll say this. Um, to defend myself slightly, um, there is an allegation going around that I doxed Draco. I did. I absolutely did. A hundred percent. I'm going to defend myself as to why I did so. Whenever you take the the right of pri- of privacy that you have and use that said privacy to then cause harm to children and individuals, I morally and ethically believe that you lose the right to have your right of privacy. 
If Not you only want that, but you kind of waive your right of privacy when you attempt to dox other people. Oh yeah, he's tried to dox me. He's, he he has docked multiple people. I'm not going to say specifically the names of two of the individuals because they have asked me not to bring them up, so I'm not going to. Let's protect there, their identities. There, exactly. There are two people um, that are close friends of mine that he that he did dox. He doxed them That's on it. his fucking profile picture. Excuse me. <laughs> he doxed them in their uh, I mean his username on on face on Twitter. His original Twitter, um, the Draco Femboy Twitter. Uh, he he docks them on that. He changes u- username to their full name and then where um, the the state that they lived in. And he did this to one of his victims, which I could consider it being victim intimidation, which is also a felony. By the way, it's called. It's I would consider that victim intimidation, but I'm also not a lawyer. I'm just a cunt with a YouTube channel. See, I'm just an investigative journalist with with the with journalistic uh journalistic community. So I'm basically like, well, it's just speculation. So allegedly, see, I'm not giving a fact, oh, Draco. Genius. I'm not accusing you of anything. I am speculating on the fact that you committed a crime. That is different than me openly accusing you of a crime. All right, genius. Suspecting Here's me him openly of accusing you of a crime. Kitties. Uh, here's me uh, actually accusing you of a crime, though. You're a pedophile. You got sexual gratification from minors. You're a pedophile. I don't care what how, what, how, how hurt your feet these are, because your privacy got fucking revoked. Yeah, I don't and, care. and not only that, I, it's not slander as well, because you believe it. It's not slander because I have evidence to back up the fact that he did it. And you I believe. have victim sentiments, and I absolutely <laughs> firmly believe. And also, slander is really hard to prove, considering the fact we're both public figures. Oh, prove I know it's content. hilarious that people are like, "Oh, slander, take it down." Slander, now, take file it down. a strike. No. Um, here's here's an idea. If you want to, if you want to sit there and say that I'm slandering you, take me to court. Take me to court. You've sat there and threatened me for months on a lawsuit if I didn't stop saying your name and posting your pic- pro- uh, fa- uh, your face all over the place. I haven't heard shit about a lawsuit ever since I told him to go fuck himself and so- told him that I will happily go to court and I will happily provide the evidence to a judge because I will happily watch them uh, watch the bailiff arrest him on the spot the moment the judge looks at the chat logs and it's like oh. well then Seems not it seems you're an actual danger to children. Huh. Exactly. So, let me, I'm going to, before my time ends, because I got four minutes left. Yeah, uh, we are running up ago. to that time. My advice to anyone that is, that has been groomed, that has, um, that, that's, that's groomer is out there right now. Do not give up hope. Justice always comes for them the truth always comes out and there is nothing they can do to hide from it in the end what happened to you is completely valid what happened to you happened and it wasn't your fault i don't know who needs to hear it what happened was out of your control you couldn't have stopped it you couldn't have done anything to stop what that person did to you from happening It happened. But be strong enough to sit there and be like, that person did it. If you want to see meaningful change, you have to act. Make police reports, get screenshots, get evidence. If you need help getting evidence, please contact me. Please contact anyone anyone with that is in a friend group of mine, whether it's Celeste, whether it's um fucking Devin, Tentacle, Mistress Briley. Shala, anyone, anyone that's close to me, if contact them, if you can't get a hold of me, and they'll let me know. But um, there's a lot that happens, and I want to make this perfectly clear: who you are is who you are. Never let anyone take that from you. You're strong. You made it through whatever you went through. And you'll keep fighting every single day. 
because you don't want them to win. No. Live don't. every day of your life out of spite for that fucker. Because that fucker wants you to hurt yourself. Because that fucker wants you to collapse in on yourself and think about how utterly violated he made you feel he or she made you feel. Because if they do that, then they get away with it. Exactly. Keep fighting. You can win this. Your voice will always get heard in the end. It may take a while, but keep fucking making noise. If you keep making noise, if you keep being a pester and people side, they'll start to listen. And that's what's important because people will listen. Whether or not they want to or not, they'll listen because they'll eventually get so annoyed of you pestering them that they'll eventually be like, fuck it. I'll hear you out just because I want you to shut the fuck up. That is acceptable because guess what? That is ears listening to your story. That is somebody about to listen to what you went through and is about to turn it around and tell everyone else that they know, hey, wait, we should really be listening to this person because mm -hmm. they got evidence and they're telling me the story and they got the evidence to back it up. Absolutely. You got this. And we have hit time, unfortunately. Woo! I know I didn't get to all the questions you wanted to. I know. I... We got like a quarter of the way through at best. No worries. Well, we got like four questions in. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Probably I expected, to be honest. Yeah, but anyways, thank you philosopher. for coming on. Of Not course. exactly the... Any links to socials? Um, you can follow me on Twitter at um, OliRen12. Um, you can follow me here on Discord. Uh, not on here. On a, on, not on Discord. On YouTube at, uh, at OliRen12. Um, and you can follow me on Twitch at OliverRen1. I know I try to keep them consistent at least somewhat, but, you know, it happens. It's hard to sometimes. But there Indeed. is your Twitter. Okay, thank you yep. for coming on. I got to get of running course. to my next interview. I also have to run to the bathroom real quick. Go do it.